Thank you very much, Sister uh, Lodi. That's a wonderful and heart-stirring song. And uh, the message is really, kung kilala niyo, Sister Lodi, ay totoo ito sa kanyang puso as it is to us na it will mean a lot when we continue to praise the Lord kahit anuman ang sitwasyon natin. And uh, thank you very much, Sister Lodi. And uh, we pray that uh, the Lord would uh, continue to bless you and uh, uh, that you would uh, see uh, the answers to your prayers uh, fulfilled all by the grace and mercies of God. Kaya, uh, I, I was blessed uh, with uh, the, the song and uh, by the uh, message and the, the messenger of the song because it's real and I have seen this uh, through the years of Kanyang Buhay. He has uh, gone uh, through them all and uh, uh, today uh, all praises and glory uh, be to the Lord. Sa hapong ito, ang aking mensahe, very simple, only a church member. Sometimes hindi natin nakikita ang kahalagahan kung bakit tayo iniligtas ng Panginoon at uh, uh, tayo ay hindi involved at uh, tayo ay hindi uh, uh, nagiging kagamit-gamit sa Panginoon sa uh, kanyang ubasan at sa kanyang uh, 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 kautusan na i-alam uh, uh, natin sa lahat kung ano ang kanyang ginawa sa ating mga buhay. I thank the Lord for this Lord's Day after the service. May dalawang kapatid. Answer prayer ako talaga. May kapatid na lumapit sa akin. Pastor, gusto namin sundan uh, si Brother uh, Rudy at saka si Brother Rene. Okay? At uh, yung kanyang pag, kanilang paglilingkod sa Panginoon uh, kung saan ay nagsusundo at naghahatid sila at uh, yamang ngayon ay uh, may limitasyon pa ang transport system natin ay kahit kasi nakita raw nila ang sacrifices ng mga pumupunta dito especially sa tanghaling tapat na sila ay lalakad patungo dyan sa Walter Mart kaya they felt burden na uh, ating dalawang sasakyan uh, ay kanilang uh, uh, isasakay ang uh, mga kapatirang ito para doon sa lugar ng Walter Mart ay may ihatid at makasakay sila uh, at madala doon sa uh, pinakamalapit na lugar ng anumang uh, mga transport system para hindi na maibsan man lang yung kanilang uh, uh, pag-travel. Sabi ko, that's fine. Answer prayer talaga ako. Kaya nga lang ako ang taong ayokong uh, uh, mag-push of anyone. Uh, answer prayer ito. At effective this Wednesday, we will uh, start with that. Kung hindi man sila pwede, andyan naman si Brother uh, Sendong at uh, si uh, Brother uh, uh, Kapilyan. At kung gusto ninyo mapalapit sa Panginoon, sumakay kayo sa uh, drive ni Brother Kapilyan. At uh, you will see how he beautiful heaven is. Okay. Si Brother uh, Sendong at Brother uh, Brother Tip or whoever is available here. <clears throat> okay? So thank you very much, Brother James and uh, Brother uh, Joshua for uh, uh, that spirit uh, of volunteerism. And that's actually uh, uh, God uh, uh, glorifying na hindi naman kayo inuutosan ay kusang loob na nakikita ninyo na in some small ways, there's no such thing as a matter of fact, uh, you are uh, serving the Lord by serving your fellow Christians. So thank you very much for that. And we appreciate all members that have uh, been uh, with us through the years 
And as we uh, approach our 48th year, I uh, uh, thank God that after two years na tayo ay uh, uh, natigil sa uh, ating physical gathering under this, the roof of this meeting house, ay we are back again. So, uh, talagang dapat na mga Kristiyano ay kung totoo yung kasab, dapat may resiliency na nakakabangong muli. Okay, so, uh, uh, thank you very much everyone for being here this afternoon as well as those that were di- here this morning at sa hapong ito. As I announced already this morning, ang aking mensahe revolves around the subject, only a church member. Don't you ever, ever uh, minimize or uh, degrade or I, ako isang church member lamang. Okay? Uh, because ang lahat ng church member ay may kanya-kanyang function uh, sa loob ng katawan ng iglesia. For example, compared to a human body, uh, one human body, but there are many uh, of, of parts uh, with different functions. Diba? So thank God na uh, ito ay ating maalaman sa banal na kasulatan and as we fire off this afternoon thank you everyone for your thoughts and your prayers and uh, uh, thank you brother Marvin and uh, sister Rama and uh, uh, Charlene uh, for uh, your uh, uh, thoughts and uh, for your uh, prayers and uh, to everyone uh, that has a part in our ministry in some way or another na uh, kami ay na-encourage, we bless the Lord and we thank you. Uh, God will repay. Now, I would like us to please open our Bibles. Uh, that's talaga yung mensahe ng inawit mo, kakapatid. Sana ikaw na lang mag-preach. <laughs> I was really blessed. Okay. I would like us to open our Bibles to the book of Acts. Kaya nga ito ay uh, uh, pinamagatang acts that has to do with the church activity after they have obeyed the Lord to wait in the upper room and come the day of Pentecost. Acts chapter 9. <clears throat> At ito ay ang mensahe ay nauhol sa isang uh, napakahalagang kaganapan sa buhay ng uh, Christianismo. Okay? So I would like us... Uh, to please open uh, our Bibles to the book, to the book of Acts, uh, mga gawa, chapter nine. At for the sake of time, uh, I am sure you would uh, be uh, benefited uh, more, or even much more, if you have the time to read the entire chapter uh, in your own respective uh, homes. But let me just give you a uh, compact or if not a uh, capsule of what the chapter contains. Especially a reminder sa mga nag-aakala na sila iniligtas lang ng Panginoon at ang mindset nila ay church member lang naman ako. Okay. I hope you will... Uh, uh, you will uh, not continue this mindset. You are saved and God placed you in the church for a purpose. And I hope and pray na tulad ng ating matutunghayan ditong only a church member, hindi attitude niya yon, kundi ito ay pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon na uh, ang sino man sa loob ng iglesia irrespective ay kung anak talaga siya ng Diyos, ay siya ay may lugar sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. After all, you are a servant. You are not to be served, but you are to serve the Lord and to serve one another. For the Son of Man is come not to be served, but to serve. Okay, to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give His life a ransom for many. And we have to follow the footprints of the Lord by considering the fact at maalis sa ating mga isipan, I'm only a church member. A church member only. Put 
a stop to that mindset. Acts chapter 9, ating basahin na lamang ang verse 10, okay? At hanggang sa verse uh, 16, okay? Sabi dito, oh, And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias, and to him uh, said the Lord a vision, uh, uh, said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the street which is called Straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul, or of Tarsus, for behold, he prayeth. And had seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming in and putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he hath done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he had authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear uh, my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Then, <clears throat> continue verse 17. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, hath sent me that thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Shall we pray? Father, bless your word. Thank you for each one that came. And thank you even for the message uh, and the messenger of the song that was rendered in our midst today. And thank you that you have reached down to her and has seen us through the many ups and downs of her life and the trials that she overcame only and solely by your grace and for your glory. Thank you for your people that have remained with us through the years. And thank you, Lord, uh, for those that decide to join this church. And thank you uh, that we can uh, gather together and give you all the praises that you worthily deserve after all you have done for us all because of jesus and for his sake we pray amen <clears throat> only a church member if we consider the entire chapter i ating mapapansin na ito ay isang chapter na sa ating uh, pag-aaral sa aklat ng mga gawa ay one of uh, the two great events uh, na masasabi ko as far as I'm concerned. Ang first event dito <clears throat> sa chapter 2 ay kung saan nung dumating ang araw ng Pentecost, the weak church, the discouraged church, they were empowered, enabled, and they marched forward uh, with the gospel. And the second event dito sa uh, chapter 9 is the conversion of the Apostle Paul. This is more or less a transition chapter na kung bakit nasabi ko, this is the second uh, <clears throat> great event in the book of Acts, ay uh, dahil uh, sa ang lalaking ito ay siya ay isang uh, kaaway ng uh, Christianity. Uh, siya ay uh, uh, bantog at kinatatakutang uh, uh, kaaway ng uh, gawain ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. At alam naman ng bawat isa kung ano ang uh, ginawa ng Panginoong paraan dito upang siya ay hindi lamang uh, mapaluhod at siya ay may baba sa kanyang kataasan at pag, uh, uh, 
uh, mamapuri sa sarili, ay ating mapansin na nung nabalita nito ng church doon <clears throat> sa Damascus ng Syria, ay isang uh, talagang uh, divine intervention ito na no doubt ipinapanalangin na ng may uh, 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 konting katagalan ng mga mananampalataya doon sapagkat si Apostle Paul ay nababantog na uh, enemy number one ng Christianity at uh, totoo nga naman. At yung uh, lugar ng Damascus, Syria ay nakapagtatakang sapagkat si Apostle Paul ay humingi uh, ng authority sa high priest okay? uh, upang ang mga mananampalataya doon ay kanyang uh, uh, bihagin at kanyang dalhin sa Jerusalem at ito ay uh, usigin at parusahan if uh, uh, possible like Stephen ay siya ay mailig, mailigpit ang mga ito. In other words, uh, talagang uh, grabe ang init ng kanyang puso, uh, ang uh, kanyang zeal uh, sa uh, pagsusulong ng advokasiyang ito to get rid of Christianity. So, dito nung binigyan siya ng authority ng high priest, nakapagtataka sapagkat ito yung binigay sa kanyang authority ay ito ay hindi uh, 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 sakop ang lugar ng Damascus. It was beyond the boundary of Israel or uh, Judaism na kung saan ay walang authority supposed to be ang uh, high priest doon sapagkat it was a foreign soil. It would be an intervention. It would, it would be an invasion of a foreign territory just like Russia did uh, sa Ukraine. So, uh, itong formal request niya na granted sa kanya na hawak-hawak niya ang uh, uh, authoritative document na ito ay ito ay address sa hari ng Damascus na nangangalang King Areta the Fourth At para maipakilala siya, uh, as a matter of fact, Apostle Paul ay hindi siya uh, makilos ng sino man, both Jews and Gentiles sapagkat he held to citizenship. He is both a Jew, kaya hindi siya magalaw ng mga Hudyo, at hindi rin siya magalaw ng mga Gentiles sapagkat he was a Roman citizen and a Roman citizen cannot be punished without due process. Although pagkatapos na naligtas siya, lahat, lahat ng sides na ito, the Jews and the Gentiles uh, both persecuted him. So nakita niyo ang wonder ng ginawa ng Panginoon. At nung nabalitaan nila ng nakakatakot uh, na kaaway ng pananampalataya uh, na ito ay mamamatay tao. Okay? So ating mapapansin, grabe ang hatred, ang muhi ni Apostol Alat Adresim, uh, Apostol at this for uh, Jangjun sapagkat he, uh, he, uh, it was after the Lord met him on the... Uh, the Damascus Road that changed uh, everything. Itong si Saulo, another name ni uh, Paul, Saul was his uh, Jewish name. That is how he is known among uh, the Jews, uh, Jewish community. Kaya he is a man with uh, authority. He is respected uh, by the Jews. He is a member of the high class of Jews na tinatawag na Sanhedrin. He had everything that a, a Jew could desire. And then, Paul, hindi siya nagbago ng pangalan, is another name of uh, uh, Saul outside of the synagogue as having and possessing a dual citizenship. That is how he is known outside uh, uh, jury or outside uh, the synagogue. So, please don't ever believe yung mga teachings na nagbago si Apostle Paul uh, nung siya, ng pangalan nung siya inaligtas. Walang inibit ako sa teaching ng mga children of God, uh, isang kulto na pag naligtas ka, ay magba- dapat magbago ka ng pangalan. Tulad ng kanilang founder na si Moses David. Hindi naman yung pangalan. Dapat mag ka ng bagong pangalan na it is a Jewish name. Okay? So that is not uh, true. So, ating mapapansin 
uh, nung siya binigyan ng authority para endorse niya sa hari para siya magkaroon ng, uh, ng uh, authority ng mga hudyo na ito ay sa Panginoon tumalima na ito ay nakakilala at ngayon sumusunod sa Panginoon na tinawag niya ang religion o ang sektang ito. In chapter 9, he addressed them as a sect na ang sektang ito ay wala pa silang pangalan except uh, yung saints. Dito is the only time na ginamit ang saints at ginamit dito ang word uh, kay Nanias na siya disciple na ito ay ginamit ng Panginoon sa 12 apostles and then tinawag niya binukod out of the multitudes of disciples ay ang he selected 12 of them to be apostles. So dito ay ating uh, mapapansin na uh, nung uh, makarating siya doon ay yung mga nat- natatakot na mga Kristiyano, yung church na natatakot uh, doon sa lungsod na ito sapagat nabantog si uh, uh, Pablo si Solo sa isang kaparaan ng ito ay masama. He was considered as an evil or wicked man. So, of course, long before siguro na ito ay uh, pumunta doon sa kanila, ay nababahala sila at nananalangin na sila at humingi, humingi sila sa Panginoon ng uh, divine intervention lalo na nung nalalaman nila na, nalaman nila na si Apostle Paul ay pupunta na doon sa kanilang uh, lugar sa Damascus. Kaya nakaluhod sila na humihingi ng saklolo sa Panginoon, ng tulong ng Panginoon. And I am sure that the, uh, ang panalangin nila kay Apostle Paul was uh, hindi ito panalangin na makasisira. Hindi ito uh, uh, panalangin upang puksain ng Panginoon si Paul. Kundi na kung maaari at uh, kung hindi man iligtas ng Panginoon uh, si Apostle, uh, si Paul o Saul ay at least baguhin niya ang course ng buhay nito na <laughs> dali sa ibang lugar sapagkat he is going beyond uh, the territories na dapat uh, hindi siya pwedeng pumunta doon. Wala na sa jurisdiction ng high priest ito. But even then, uh, kinilala ito ni King uh, Areta uh, the Fourth. So, binigyan siya ng authority. However, nung siya ay papunta pa lang doon, uh, siguro ay nung <clears throat> uh, halfway or malapit na siya sa uh, Damascus of uh, Syria, ay siya ay hinarang ng Panginoong Kristo. Hinarang siya ng Panginoong Kristo that all the while, kung bakit may pagka uh, uh, put siya sa mga uh, alagad ng Panginoong Kristo sa mga Kristiyano, ay sapagkat naniniwala siya na itong uh, uh, sektang ito ay eh kung ang kanyang mga kababayan, ang kanyang relihiyon nga ay ito ay napas lang at itong si Kristo ay nakalibing sa isang uh, uh, libingan sa uh, Judea, sa Israel, eh sabi niya dapat lahat ng mga tigasunod niya ma-eliminate rin. Subalit nung siya inaroon na sa landas, sa daan ng papuntang Damascus, nang siya ay kinatagpo ng Panginoon, ay with the brightness and the glory and the majesty of the Lord's vision and appearance sa kanya because he both saw the Lord and he both heard the Lord. He had a vision as well as uh, he heard the Lord personally speak. And this is what qualifies him into the apostolic office sa uh, requirements ng pagiging apostle. In other words, it was an encounter na siya ay lumuhod at makakilala sa Panginoong Isristo bilang personal na tagapagligtas. Halos nabulag siya. Uh, as a matter of fact, for three days, nawalan siya sa grabbing uh, uh, glory, uh, shining so brightly, uh, uh, even brighter than the noonday sun na halos nabulag siya ay ang Panginoon nagsalita sa kanya. It was the Lord Jesus, er, the recent Christ, who initiated this uh, 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 conversation. Sabi niya ng Panginoon, Soul, soul, why persecutest thou me? 
it is hard for me to kick against the prick. Bakit mo, solo-solo, bakit mo ako inuusig? Mahirapan kang sipain mo ang matulis na bagay na hindi ka masaktan. Sa salitang ito ng Panginoon, why, why uh, hast thou uh, persecuted uh, me? Bakit mo ako inuusig? Hindi sinabi ng Panginoon, so, so, why persecutest thou my church? Hindi sinabi. But it's understandable that the church which is his body, ay doon niya in-express, inihayag yung kanyang poot sa Christianity, both the person and the faith, na doon niya ibinubuhos. Kaya inangkin ito ng Panginoon na kanya, this is my church, and what you are doing to my church is exactly what you are doing to me. That's just what, how uh, to say it best, I suppose. So dito ay ating uh, mapapansin at nung siya ay nabulag uh, at uh, uh, kanyang kasamahan at siya ay nakarating doon sa Damascus, doon sa lugar, sa isang bahay uh, na ito ay tahanan ni Judas. Hindi ito siya, patay na si Judas Iscariot, matagal na. At uh, ito ngayon ay doon siya kinupkop uh, bilang bulag ay ang Panginoon ay gumawa ng hakbang upang ang kanyang sinimulan ay kanyang maipagpatuloy. Uh, so this is iba talaga pag ang Panginoon ang kumilos. Ang hindi magagawa ng tao ay walang limitasyon na magagawa ng Panginoon. So this is where the story of this uh, church member by the name of Ananias came in. If not for this church member only, where would be the Apostle Paul? Naalala ko na sa mga nakakilala sa Panginoon in John chapter 1 ay ating mapapansin, sabi sa Bible, sa chapter 1, And Andrew brought his brother Peter to Jesus. And then after, si Andrew ay siya naging anino na lamang ni Apostle Peter. What if Andrew did not bring his brother, Peter? And Peter was God's apostle, personal envoy to the Jews. Kaya sa chapter 1 hanggang sa part ng chapter uh, 10, ay uh, medyo nagta-transition na, medyo uh, ang uh, ministry ni Apostle Peter, which was for the Jews, ay it is giving way sa uh, Apostle Paul after his encounter doon sa uh, Daanang Damascus. But it takes more than just the personal experience or encounter sa Damascus Road, dinaligtas siya, at pagkatapos, tinap ng Panginoon ang isang pagkataniwang church member lamang. Ay, uh, bagamat ito ay sasimula, Sabi na, Panginoon, <laughs> kilala namin ng taong nakakatakot ng taong ito. Ako pa, Panginoon, bakit na lang hindi si pastor? As a matter of fact, during those times, during those times, almost everything is by uh, done by laymen. Yung mga apostles were only, walang separation of uh, uh, the clergy and the laity. All of them were together servants and they did their part in uh, the furtherance of the gospel. So, walang clergy excellence or rank na nakakasakop sa, uh, sa mga miyembro. So, ating mapapansin uh, na... <clears throat> Nung ang Panginoon ay uh, uh, nakilos na ito si Apostle Paul at wala na siyang magawa, bulag na siya, wala na siyang uh, 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 misyon na maipatuto pa doon sapagkat the Lord broke everything sa buhay niya at naroon siya uh, sa lugar uh, ng bahay ni Judas at siya ay walang magawa kundi manalangin and no doubt tanggapin ang katotohanan na mahirap kalabanin ang buhay na Kristo. Nakala niya ay namatay at nanatili sa libingan. He was altogether wrong with that Jewish perception 
or uh, uh, a knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So here comes, ito namang si Ananias. Only a church member. Okay? Wala yan. Kung hindi kay Ananias, ay si Apostle Paul ay hindi magiging kagamit-gamit sa Panginoon. Because that is God's plan and purpose. Okay, so dito, I, there are three uh, brief things I would like to share with you na huwag kayong patuloy na espouse ninyo ang mount, uh, mindset I'm only a church member. Each believer is intended by the Lord to be a witness for the risen Christ. You were saved by the gospel of the grace of God. And this is the only message that will crack and that will break the stony hearts of anyone. When God moves, nobody can stop. Yun lang kailangan. Kaya nga, even a truck. Di ba? Yung gospel trucks, kaya nga dapat palagi tayo, ako nagdadala ko kahit ng libro, at pagkatapos, yung highlighters. Pag nagka-question na yung mga taong, what the, colorful? So, in-explain ko na, at least very briefly lang, because uh, they are busy to, okay, nagbibigay ako ng trucks, at even, itong daily bread, na uh, namimigay ako, so, hindi ko pinagmamalaki yun is uh, a way of service to the Lord. Na, alam, sumasakay kayo sa bus, ay nananatili kayong mga secret disciples. Wow. You have to tell someone else of who Jesus is and what He has done for you. So, there are uh, three brief truths about Ananias na hindi niya tinawakan niyang, I'm only a church member. Anong say-say ko? I'm only one and a church member. Wala, wala akong uh, maihandog na paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Don't you uh, ever espouse that idea. Naalala ko, <clears throat> sa songbooks natin, ay maraming na compose na awitin si Fanny Crosby. Marami. At outstanding sa kanyang mga nakumpos na inaawit which really blesses my heart to this very day is blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Yan ang uh, as far as I'm concerned. And many other uh, compositions uh, by uh, Fanny Crosby. Si Fanny Crosby at uh, uh, her infancy nung siya sanggol pa lamang ay sinawimpalad na dahil sa uh, maling uh, treatment ng isang doktor ay siya ay completely na nabulag. Nabulag talaga siya. Pero uh, siya ay nakakilala sa Panginoon at yung handicap niyang siya ay bulag ay hindi ito naging balakid upang hindi siya sa anumang paraan makapaglingkod uh, sa Panginoon. At maliban sa siya ay uh, uh, nag, uh, uh, namimigay ng mga uh, babasahin ay yung mga awitin na compose niya bilang bulag. Now, uh, si Fanny uh, Crosby ay may dalubhasang doktor na sa kanyang kalagayang ito when she was of age na uh, medyo nagiging moderno na ang equipment ng mga eye doctors na ang kanyang ophthalmic uh, uh, problem, ang kanyang uh, uh, depekto sa mata ay ito ay pwedeng operahan at ito ay makakita na siya. Pero tinanggihan ni Fanny Crosby. If you and I were in her shoes, we would grab that opportunity. Amen? Yeah. Ganun. But not Fanny Crosby. These are the things that uh, runs in her uh, uh, mind and heart. Sabi niya, <clears throat> pag ako'y makakita, ang nais kong unang makita ay ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Muka ng Panginoong Isu Kristo. Wow. Pangalawa, na baka pag ako'y nakakita na, ay hindi na ako makapaglingkod sa Panginoon. Sabi ko, wow. Sabi niya, I'm contented with my lot in life. Doon na lang ako sa langit, babawi makikita ko ang unang muka, ang muka 
niya na umibig sa akin at nagligtas sa aking kaluluwa. And then, she wrote many songs and father, ay nung siya ay uh, namatay, kabilin-bili niya na ito ang maging uh, ma-engrave sa kanyang tombstone. Ang simpleng mensahe, she did what she could. Ginawa niya ang kanyang magagawa sa kabila ng kanyang handicap. At the end of the journey of each one of us, how will our testimony be described? She has never been active in the church. Ay marami niya because ng isip nila, I'm only a church member. <laughs> Kaya uh, menos rin ang kanilang maiwanang uh, patutuo. So dito ay ating uh, mapapansin, Three simple truths. Uh, kay, uh, anyway, ilan lang naman na talata ito. Uh, uh, permit me. First of all, sabi dito sa atin, uh, sa uh, uh, verse, notice with me please, dito sa verse 10, that Ananias was a disciple. There are three days that I would like to address in uh, summation, in summing up the life's testimony of Ananias. And by the way, Ananias, ang kanyang pangalan, okay, uh, a Jewish name, Ananias in uh, Aramaic, ang pangalan Ananias is mentioned only three times in uh, the book of Acts and in the entire New Testament. Three times. The first appearance of the name Ananai, Ananias in, is in chapter 5 na kung saan si Ananias na asawa ni Sapphira ay bukod sa winitold nila ang portion ng kabilihan na nagkunwari sila na naihandog nilang lahat sa Panginoon na hindi naman totoo na nagsinungaling sila sa uh, banal na espirito ay biglaang sila ay namatay. Thank God that only happened in the early uh, church sa apostolic era. Kasi kung gagawin ng Panginoon yan ngayon, maraming mga uh, Kristiyano ay papanaw dahil sa pagnanakaw sa Panginoon. Sa pagkakait sa Panginoon ng bahagi na narapat ibigay sa Panginoon. You have been robbing God and you call it economy? Kung hindi man ninyo pananagutan yan dito sa buhay na ito, hindi kayo makakataka sa kabilang buhay. That's for sure. That's why you better make up with the Lord here and now, right now, while you have the opportunity. Because if the rapture comes sa judgment seat of Christ, you will be blushing in shame. That you pretended that you are honest with the Spirit of God and yet you have been robbing Him of what is due Him. After all, the entire 100% of your income comes from God. You came into the world with nothing. You will leave this world simply with nothing, not even one centavo. The second time na nag ang pangalang Ananias in the uh, book of Acts and in the entire New Testament ay ito ay ang high priest ng panahon ni Apostle Paul, si Ananias. Okay? At uh, ang O malupit na samang na high priest ito. At ito nga ay nagutos sa mga uh, mamamayan ng si Apostle Pablo ay nabago ang landas na kanyang buhay at naligtas na nagpapatotoo na sa Panginoon ay kanyang inuutusan ang kanyang mga uh, nasasakupan na pagsasampalin si Apostle Pablo. So dito ay ating uh, mapapasinuusig na siya ng kanyang sariling kababayan at pinanggaling ang relihiyon all because of Christ and he never uh, ever regretted that na siya ay uh, he was a changed man by the grace of God okay itong Ananias na ito the first and the second and the second is isipin na lang natin at ang third ay itong Ananias na ito na may <clears throat> may bahagi 
sa uh, buhay at gawain ni Apostol Pablo upang ang uh, salita ng Diyos, ang Ibanghelyo, ay may kalat sa mga hintel to the Gentile world. Itong lalaking ito. He is the apostle to the Gentiles. You and I would not be here kung hindi naligta si Apostle Paul at hindi siya in-encourage at inalalayan ni Ananias. Ananias was God's man, an ordinary church member only. And yet, tingnan ninyo ang kanyang naging role sa buhay ng if I were to uh, uh, make myself uh, known uh, sa esteem ko sa aking pagkilala kay Apostle Paul, he is the greatest among the apostles, he is the greatest theologian of Christianity, he is the greatest preacher second only to Jesus Christ. Sa greatness ay walang makakatalo kay Apostle Paul. Except Panginoon. At sinabi rin ng Panginoon ay itong kanyang kasangkapang si John the Baptist sa Matthew 11, 11. But speaking of the Apostle Paul, lahat ng mga doctrines na ating uh, 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 tinatanggap na nagpapatibay sa ating pananampalataya is it's all out of the written ministry of the Apostle Paul which he preached to the people during his time. He is the man that preaches absolute grace. The salvation is, is by grace through faith alone. And all the Baptist principles that we hold you to this very day is all of apostolic origin. Dahil siya ang kasangkapan ng Panginoon upang may bigay sa atin majority of the books of the New Testament. Can you ever beat that? But thank God there was a church member only that has had played a part sa buhay ni Apostle Paul. And God is in search of Ananias, many Ananias today. Will you be that Ananias today? And who knows? The person that you may be able to lead to a personal knowledge of Jesus Christ ay siya ay gagamitin ng labis ng Panginoon. Ananias was a disciple. Alam niya ang word na disciple which masusundan natin galing sa termino ng panahon na ang Panginoon is Kristo ay he called these disciples followers, students, learners. He taught them for almost three and a half years. And he has always been sounding to them, if you really want to learn, learn of me. Take up your cross daily and follow me. So it cost them something to follow the Lord. It costs you nothing to be a Christian. It's all by grace, of, the grace of God. But to be a disciple, just like Ananias, it will cost you something if not everything. Sa kanya, yun ang reluctance. Yung Panginoon, hindi mo mo nalalaman, kinala namin ito, kinatatakutan ito, at pagkatapos ako ang dadalhin mo sa enemy number one ng Christianity, Panginoon. Kahirap naman yan. Yan ang ating mapapansin, unang objection or reluctance ni Ananias. But even then, uh, the Lord uh, told him everything. Sabi niya, huwag kang mabahal. I have taken uh, care of him. Siya ngayon ay bago ng solo. He is now a transformed uh, person. Uh, siya ngayon ay, I have humbled him to the dust of the earth. Siya ngayon ay maamo na. At kung ano ang dating kinamumuhian, inuusig niya, ngayon ay kanyang iniibig na. At ito ay kanyang ikakalat sa mga hintel, sa mga hari, sa mga palasyo, at sa mga matataas na miyembro ng pamahalaan. And this we can find in chapter 9 verse 15. Tignan niyo please. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. So, one thing about him, when the Lord, I completely okay, uh, persuaded him that the Apostle Paul has a different 
course of life. Ngayon, ay sabi niya, yes Lord, I will obey. He had been pacified by the assurance of God. Nakita niya na nag, uh, ang uh, Panginoon sa vision at nagsalita personally sa kanya, Ananias, Ananias, he called him by name, Ananias, Ananias, in verse 10. So Ananias, though he was reluctant because he was afraid, and who is not if you were in his use? So dito ay ating mapapansin ang sabi, parang sinasabi ni uh, Ananias, your wish is good as my command, Lord. I will, I will go. It's high time now. We should uh, madalas ang ating mga isipan at ang ating mga buhay is molded sa anumang uh, occupation natin o callings natin o professions natin sa buhay. One thing na inaasama-sama natin ay success. But believe me, yung mga tao na mas higit pa ang naging accomplishment at though they are now in the graves that they have left behind uh, testimonies ay isa dito ay si Albert Einstein he is one of those that believe in the reality of God that God exists though he was a scientist na uh, bantog na scientist si Albert Einstein Sabi ni uh, Einstein, uh, ang salita niya, ay uh, dapat sa ating mga buhay, ay it is high time, okay, uh, to change the ideal of success and to consider the ideal of service. Maganda yan. <laughs> Hindi lang success ang ating mindset eh kundi ang service. Because after all, ang parangal ng Panginoon that you have had a, a good success, I, that should count most because it is something that lasts, uh, it's something uh, that uh, uh, will uh, gain His approval sa uh, uh, bawat isa sa atin. And sa akin, I'm not after success in life. I am after service. And because of this, it's God na kinautangan ko for whatever success na nakikita ko na nangyari sa buhay ko at nangyari sa buhay ng mga tao na uh, uh, naging kabahagi uh, uh, ko at kabahagi nila ako sa kanilang uh, mga buhay. And that's just it. It's time, okay? Uh, na considerahin natin hindi lamang ang idea of success but idea of service. Because sabi ng Panginoon sa nag asama sa na naging dakila sa harapan ng Panginoon as a uh, great uh, uh, man sa kanyang harapan, ay uh, sabi niya, if any of you uh, would be on the top, let him be the servant of all. Wow. Kaya nga ngayon, ang mga politicians natin, whoever is in government, ay uh, they assume na parang mataas sila it's public servant sila. Hindi sila master siya. At least, uh, si Pinoy, the late Pinoy, sabi niya, kayo ang boss ko. Bagamat may kainaan rin siya, he has had some of his failures, but always remember that he was the one that inculcated some uh, isipan ng mga tao na alisin yung because I'm a high government official, ay dapat malaman ito at may wangwang. Di ba pinalis niya yon? Walang wangwang. Walang uh, mataas na uh, government official. We are servants of the people. Maganda yung pasimula eh. Kaya nga lang, you can never guarantee that your cordon sanitation, yung mga nakapalibot sa iyo, I would follow your example. <laughs> Doon nagsisimula. Minsan ang hindi naging maayos na pamamahala sa mga uh, malapit sa kanya at lalo na nagiging mga sip-sip. Okay, so ating uh, mawapansin, whoever becomes the president come election day, I mark my word, I hope they would consider the fact that they are servants of the people. They are to serve. And the interest 
of the nation is their concern. The good and the welfare of each uh, uh, person in the entire country and that they should hold to a statesman mindset in the politician. We have had so many politicians, but only a few have been statesmen. And I can name one, Siclaro M. Recto. So, uh, itong uh, dating maliit na ambassador na si Romulo. Kaya, naipamanan niya sa kanya mga anak kahit nasa mataas na tungkulin ay hindi ito mga mayayabang. Okay? So, dito eh, he was a disciple. He was a follower. And the Apostle Paul, I, he commended in chapter 22 out chapter 26 in both chapters eh, he commended itong si Ananias that he was not only a disciple but a very splendid one and to get to the matter of uh, truth na description of Apostle Paul Ananias is a devout man devout where we get the uh, word devoted. He's a devout. He is such a committed. He is so holy. Yan ang sinabi ni Apostle Paul na natat siya. Yung tinapik lang siya sa malikat. Nitong si Ananias, sabi ni Ananias, brother soul. That was all it took to encourage this newly saved or converted enemy of Christianity. Brother soul. So no doubt the Apostle Paul was a changed man and he is converted. So yan ay credential na ating mapapa, uh, mapupulot dito uh, sa patoto ni Apostle Paul sa chapter 22 verse 6 because I would like to get uh, to the close of this message Sa closing ng message natin, this is just yung word, yung pangalan ni Ananias was only mentioned by the Apostle Paul. After this personal encounter niya kay Apostle Paul of how he was used by God, I never again will you ever read or hear about Ananias. Simply, he faded away because God was through with his mission. And yet, he never in any way, okay, uh, I am sure uh, continued with that idea only a church member because only a church member can be used by God. Naalala ninyo yung little boy when the Lord was in a desert place tanghaling tapat ang maraming sumusunod sa kanya multitudes of them five thousands of them and four thousands in another uh, event, ay nung sila ay nagkaroon ng problema na wala silang maipakain sa dami ng mga ito at nagugutom na ang mga ito, no doubt. At pagkatapos ay uh, wala silang mabibilhan at kung may uh, pera mas silang uh, pambili na walang wala sila ang uh, problema, sabi ni Philip, we don't have the available fund, the cash on hand to buy so much food so that everyone here could eat. But you see, Jesus, who is God invisible, and Jesus made visible for us. The invisible God is made visible through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sabi niya, ano bang meron kayo? At is, sabi ni Philip, meron dito isang bata. Pero, anong mapapala natin? Limang maliliit na tinapay at pagkatapos dalawang isda lamang. How can it uh, feed so much people here? Parang ang kulang na sabi na parang, for with God nothing shall be impossible. So bring me the boy. <laughs> God, bring me the boy. Nung dinala sa kanya yung bata, sabi niya, Totoy, gusto mo bang ibigay sa akin ang iyong pagkain upang magamit ko? Oh yes, Lord! Okay? Binigay niya. 
And the Lord prayed for uh, the bread and uh, the fish and gave, he broke them and he uh, distributed it to the 12 apostles. Sabi niya, na yun, mga pirapiraso lang ito. Sige, ipamigay ninyo. And every time from uh, the containers na uh, meron sila, na kinuha nila ito, tumutubo, umuangat. Sabi niya, yun pala ay magic bread and magic fish. You know, it's supernaturally provided. So, a little boy. Oh, don't you ever, uh, just a little boy. Just a little girl. Yung maid ni Naaman, a general, bantog, mayaman, may kapangyarihan. Lahat na ng dalubhasang doktor na punta niya at lahat ng uri ng gamot ay uh, nasubok sa kanya, hindi siya gumaling sa kanyang leprosy. But just at the testimony, hindi nga dapat mag-testify itong uh, babaeng ito, batang dalagitang ito, uh, kay Naaman sapagkat siya ay kaaway. And yet, she felt broken for her master nang sabi niya, there is a prophet in Israel. Elijah can heal you. Eh, hindi pa yun, nasubukan. So, ating mapapansin, oh, Elijah can heal you. So, pumunta siya doon, uh, you know the story. And he was made whole. Na ayaw niya sana na siya pitong beses ilubog uh, doon sa ilog ng Jordan because it was, sabi niya, it's filthy. Doon, sa Syria, mas marami pang mga malilinis, maayos na mga ilog. So ating mapapansin, mga kapatid, don't ever feel, I'm just a church member only. I'm just a small member, of, I'm just a poor member ng Calvary Baptist Church. Even though you may admit it, yet you have something that others need. Just fill the gap. Fill the gap. Like Ananias. So, ating mapapansin yung three things kay Ananias is a disciple second. Sabi ng Panginoon, here's my direction for you. He directed him. And whenever uh, uh, directs you, you are in, in good hands. You are in the safest uh, hands. At hindi kayo ililigaw ng Panginoon. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. And third, his disappearance. Nung matapos na ang kanyang uh, gawain ito na magpatotoo lang at sabihin ni Apostle Paul. Si Apostle Paul ay pinapunta siya ng Panginoon at para ibigay ang detalye ng uh, uh, kalooban ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, po, Brother Paul, and thereafter ay ating mapapansin dito, inakay niya ito na pumunta doon sa iglesia at pagkatapos si Apostle Paul ay nagpabaptize. Tingnan niyo please dito sa ating talata. Okay? That the Apostle Paul was baptized in verse 18. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been uh, scales and he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. So he joined the church doon sa Damascus. And these are the requirements ng apostleship. Una, nakakita sa Panginoon. Pangalawa, siya ay nabautismo. <clears throat> Ayon sa bautismo ni Juan through the New Testament Church. At pangatlo, ay is coupled with signs and miracles. And the Apostle Paul ay totoo ito sa kanyang buhay. Sa uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Verse 12, if I can uh, remember the reference, itong requirements ng apostleship fits in for him. And believe me, he's, to me, the greatest among the quorum of the apostles, although he was not an original member of the 12 uh, apostles, he is an extra special apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, we ought to be thankful because the Apostle Paul sounded the truth sa Asia, sa Europe, and then yung mga layman, mga layman na ang nagpapatuloy na ikalat ito 
ang mabuting balita sa anumang dako na sila ay pangunahan ng Panginoon Kristo. So don't ever feel na I'm just a church member. God can use you. As I close, I would like to give <clears throat> an illustration na totoo ito. Uh, si uh, Dr. Rama, I'll never ever forget that. Doon sa, when she was still with uh, veterans at uh, connected with uh, uh, the Army Medical, uh, Dr. Medi Medical Corps, I, <clears throat> one occasion, ay tinawagan niya ako, uh, gusto niya uh, sana na mapuntan kahit si Brother Rosway, yung kanyang pasyente na talagang matindi ang, uh, ang sakit. Uh, was it cancer, sister? Cancer. Pangalan niya, if I can recall, Juliet. Okay, si tinawagan niya, hindi ko niya, oh, sabi ko, I'll be, I'll be uh, uh, there, I'll be, I'll go there. So pumunta ako doon, etc. We need to send to, etc. So much so that, siguro with the, uh, still small voice of the Holy Spirit, I, she committed her soul to the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, even after I left, sabi yata sa akin ni Sister uh, Rama, ay uh, ito hinanap ako, and then, hindi na sa pagka-terminal, namatay siya, and then, uh, yung asawa, ay nagpapasalamat, nag, kahit sa ganong sitwasyon, ay pag ang Panginoon kumilos, is not, Too late. Always on time. So because, thank God, Sister Rama went beyond her being just a doctor. She was concerned for her patient. Today, ang karamihan ng mga doctors, ang concern nila is not really that they uh, uh, love their patients and they try their best to serve the Lord by assisting the needy patients. Kundi ang concern ng marami ngayon, ay anyay pera-pera lang. God forbid if this is a Christian doctor involved. Maling-mali siya. So, I thank God. Kaya I have, uh, I give my salute to Sister Rama. Just that occasion, it will remain with me for the rest of my life. Don't you ever feel that you are just a church member only? Be of use to the Lord. Sound out the good news. Tell others of the Christ who loved you and gave himself for you that he and he alone as the great physician of your body, soul, and spirit holds all the answers and the cures for your life. And only Jesus can change and transform the vilest sinner into a transformed saint. I remember John Bunyan was, and yet the Lord met him in the crossroads of life and it completely reversed everything. So today after tonight's service, I hope and pray that you will stop that mindset or that idea. Wala akong magagawa. I'm just a church member. Make yourself Count for the Lord in whatever way you can serve the Lord. Grab the opportunity and may God bless and raise many members, lay members ng Calvary Baptist Church to be active in the furtherance of the gospel and serving the Lord. Because you are serving a cause that will never ever lose. It's a cause that will succeed forever. Whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. And the people of God says, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for being with us here today. Next Lord's Day is the highest form of worship in the church, we are going to hold the Lord's Supper. Okay? There are two uh, uh, sisters that the Lord have touched and asked one to be reinstated that 
the Lord made it possible after the, the many years, four years of struggles in her life, the Lord has paved the way para she can now attend and worship the Lord uh, in the midst of the church. Sister Jenny, would you please come? Okay, Jenny. Okay. Okay. She would like uh, to be reinstated sa Calvary Baptist Church. Okay? Uh, face the audience. Uh, willing pa ba kayo na tanggapin ulit siya? Okay? Amen. Amen. Okay, so uh, we certainly uh, thank the Lord and I have seen you uh, in the succession of uh, past Sundays uh, that the Lord has really uh, moved you uh, and bless you in our means as you are a blessing yourself to us. And another sister, okay? Sister, ni, uh, Brother Gian, uh, uh, Gian would like uh, to uh, uh, join the church uh, by uh, means of uh, transferring her uh, uh, membership into this uh, uh, church family. Okay? As a secretary. Okay? Ay, uh, you secretary role mo yun, uh, dapat alam mo yung pang pangalan. Okay? How many are in favor of ang tawag ko lang sa kanya, sister or brother ja, uh, Jian? Okay. <laughs> okay, sister. Oh, you are not no, yan ang normal. Back to normal na tayo. Sister, ah, Janina ba ito? Janina Krisha. Short hand kasi. Janina Krisha ba? Okay. How many of us are in favor of receiving the sister into uh, our church family by means of transfer from one Baptist church to ours? Let it be known by the uh, uh, raising of your right hand. Okay. Amen. Okay. So we heartily welcome both of you. You are a blessing to us as well as we are a blessing to you. And let us together rally be, uh, behind the cross of Jesus and uh, grow in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this uh, Lord's Day morning and especially this afternoon. And we thank you uh, for the special number both this morning and uh, tonight that uh, uh, the message is indeed really uh, pricks our hearts and moved us, O oh Lord, to be praiseful for uh, all your goodness and mercies that have followed us on the trail of life. And uh, we thank you for the sisters whom you have uh, moved uh, to be uh, reinstated and another to uh, join the church family. And we must uh, uh, heartily welcome them. And as we leave this place bound for our respective homes, I do pray that you would guide us by your spirit and help us prepare for the coming uh, uh, Lord's Day and Lord's Supper uh, next Sunday as we commence a month uh, that uh, 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 we uh, usually celebrate our anniversary and uh, uh, the graduation of uh, Bible students. Uh, overall, we are grateful uh, that we have the privilege to meet the whole day uh, on site. And bless even those that are with us uh, through the uh, online service. And may uh, they also be blessed and uh, that they would in their respective uh, uh, places, that they would uh, give importance to being a, a child of God and uh, to uh, be involved in uh, witnessing and telling others of who Jesus is and what great things he has done for them. We are grateful, O oh Lord, for this uh, uh, Lord's Day, and we uh, thank you and praise you for everything that transpired. And thank you for the testimony of such a layman in the person of Ananias who lived true to his name, although two did not, and we thank you that we can uh, be able uh, to hear uh, the uh, word of God uh, preached in uh, our uh, mother tongue and that uh, uh, we can be challenged uh, to uh, uh, serve the Lord and be used of the Lord 
in whatever way he so decide for us to uh, uh, do. We bless you and thank you in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every name and who is coming again for us, even so come Lord Jesus. And the people of God says, Amen. God bless you. Please do not trust out. Uh, meet uh, the sisters and extend them your right hand of elbows. <laughs> okay, God bless you all.